Got another 24 millimeter dripper for you guys. Oh yeah, and this is the Goon RDA by a company called 528 Customs. Oh yes, yeah, so as you guys can see, the vapor production is a kicking. The flavor is spankalicious, man. It's awesome. You got your airflow, your adjustable airflow that runs straight to the coil. But you know what? Before we go into any more of those details, I'm going to go ahead and dive down, show you this thing up close and personal. We'll come back, talk about the cons one, then the pros too, and then I'll let you know if I lost this thing today when I go out tomorrow. Bye one. Yeah. So first things first, I'm gonna show you the build deck, okay? Here it is, this is the build I have. I'm running a dual parallel, a parallel Clapton build, and I just wanna show you something before we get into this. First of all, I didn't give credit where credit's due in FaceTime. Credit goes to Blue-Eyed Goon, okay? Blue-Eyed Goon and 528 Customs, but Blue-Eyed Goon, if you don't know who he is, you need to go check out his Instagram. He does some crazy builds. Hey, Blue-Eyed Goon, if you're watching, you need to send me some of your alien builds, bro. I got a vape on those. No, but serious, this guy's good, man. He does some crazy builds, and he helped design this thing. Credit goes to you blue eyed goon not only to you but 528 customs but yeah here's the deck section now look at this in the middle okay you got your clamps on each side right okay but in the middle you got this little space now if you want to get the best flavor out of it push the wicks to the side look at that it's got to be completely open on both sides and what that does, it allows the air to travel all throughout the chamber section, the deck section, the chamber section, and it just, mm, it bumps the flavor up like, like a substantial amount, guys. So yeah, that's how I do it. And I run mostly Clapton builds in here. Dual Claptons. But you got a single coil option. I mean, that's a biggie, man. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, boy. So here she is, boys and girls, without the builds in there, and uh, you got the space in between there. You got the 24 karat gold-plated bridge post set up, and it's, it's awesome, man. It's got these clamps on each side, four screws, four Phillips head screws, total two on each side, and check it out okay with these clamps how it works is you slide the clamps up and look at that you slide your leads in there both sides and it's easy you just touch it with each lead and it pops up once you've installed both coils on each side you screw down your screws just like you saw how my builds were installed i mean it's easy peasy now is it as easy as the velocity style deck no but it's still easy but it's beautiful man it's got that gold plated bridge post system you got your peak insulator down there dual o-ring on the deck lip she's got a deep juice well not super deep but it's deep so here's the base, and check out the engravings. The engravings are super clean. Some of the cleanest engravings I've seen in a long while. You got your serial number, my serial number, 8,341. It's got an adjustable copper pin. 510 threads are smooth. And you got this screw over to the side, and that's what keeps the negative post intact. Screw over here. Negative post over here. And then that's your positive connection right here. So here's the barrel slash top cap slash drip tip section. And if you look on the side, look at that engraving. You got the Blue Eye Goon logo and our trademark. In the center, you got the 528. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Some of the smoothest engravings. I'm going to mention that again. Some of the cleanest engravings that I've seen in a long while. You got your drip tip up here, your downward drip tip. Okay, and it press fits. Now you got an O ring. The O ring is embedded into the top cap, like the Kennedy 22. But this drip tip, okay, you got a 10 millimeter bore all the way through. Just slides right back in. Super comfortable downward drip tip. Now up top, you got more engravings and look how clean. I just did the, the machining for this is top notch, man. A plus, plus, plus. 528 custom vapes. Absolutely gorgeous. And here's your airflow. And to adjust your airflow, well, first of all, you got three slots on one side, three slots on the other. And to adjust it, you just turn. Grab a hold of this top cap and this barrel and twist. I like two slots open on each side. I find that that's my favorite. That's my preferred. But all this is going to be subjective. You can close it off even more. Even more. And if you keep turning on this side, you go into single coil or single air hole mode, which is awesome. So it's blocked off on this side. Open on this side. And you adjust it the same way in single coil or single air hole mode. So yeah, here's the top cap. Single O-ring up top. Beautiful machining. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you got three slots on one side, three slots on the other, and then one perpendicular for your single core or single air hole. Like I said, you got a dual core option or single core option with this. That's a huge option coming from someone like Blue Eye Goon because a lot of these crazy time builders are big dual core builders. So having a single core option, that's a that's big. That's big to me. Did you do that for me, Blue Eye Goon? Again, here's the barrel. Make sure when you got your builds in there, you line up your slots with your coils. 
Oh yeah, and the Goon RDA comes in this 528 Customs little felt baggie, drawstring baggie, pretty cool, huh? And it also comes with a baggie of extra goodies. And those goodies include some O-rings and some screws. So that right there, boys and girls, is the Goon RDA by Blue Eye Goon and 528 Customs. Let's go ahead and take her back to FaceTime. First, the cons. One, you cannot use your standard 510 drip tips. And two, this is not as convenient to build on as a Velocity style deck. Again, this is going to be all subjective, but to me, it, it's a subjective con. Now the pros. One, build quality A++ in my book, man. I I mean, there was no burrs, no scratches, no machine oil, one rinse, one wash, I was good to go. It's just smooth, man. It's smooth sailing. You guys saw this at the top, but the engravings are absolutely gorgeous, clean, 528 Customs. Holy shit, you guys did a good job. The build quality on the deck, flawless, 24 karat gold-plated uh, bridge post. Airflow, you get plenty of airflow. To me, you do. You can adjust it, and it's straight to the coil. And also, you got an adjustable 510 copper pin at the base. They state that this is hybrid compatible, which is a good thing. Yes, 24 millimeter looks the tits on all my mods. Oh, yes. It's got a deep juice well, and it's got a comfortable drip tip. Delver drip tip, even though it's not compatible with your standard 510 drip tips, it's still comfortable. And I like how it's got that built-in O-ring in the top cap. And you get vapor for days, and the flavor is absolutely phenomenal. Now, is it something like the bottom airflow type of design, like the Tsunami 24 and the Kennedy? I prefer those as far as flavor, but this is it's not far behind it. And like I said, this thing is made for your big old Clapton builds. Just big old builds in general, but your Clapton builds, what I love about this is you got so much damn space to put your slide your freaking leads in. I love it. And the fact that the build quality, like I mentioned, is just phenomenal. It just makes it that much better. And the price point, price point for this is 60 bucks. And to me, that's a steal. I just think it oozes class. It oozes sophistication. It oozes innovation, especially for an RDA. You see, all of the RDAs nowadays have the velocity style decks, and I like how this is just a little bit different. I love the gold-plated, the gold-plated bridge post. I mentioned that before, but I'm going to mention it again. It's just classy, man. And with the adjustable airflow for this, the tolerance is between the top cap and the barrel. It's phenomenal. Perfect amount of restrictiveness. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, but the fact that you can run this thing not only in dual coil mode, you can run it in single coil mode. So for you single coilers out there, I think you're going to like that. You're going to appreciate it. So the online shop that sent this bad boy to me to review for you guys is selling anywhere between 60 and 65 bucks. Like I said, most places online are selling this sucker for 60 bucks. And in the description, I'll post a link to where you can get this thing. But, oh, now onto the big question the big answer today. Hey, Rip, if you lost this sucker today, would you go out tomorrow and buy one? And the answer is, I would. I would. Uh, the price point for the quality, the quality blew me away, man. This is the best quality RDA that I've dealt with in, in the last year, I would say. The flavor I get off this, I mean, like I said, this thing's made for your Clapton builds, your big ass builds. It's going to be phenomenal. Do I think it's as easy as the Velocity style decks? No. But is there room for something like this? In my arsenal? Yes. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now. Woo! Don't you worry, I did not forget about the giveaway. That's right, I got an extra goon RDA to give away to one of you random winners out there. And what you got to do in order to participate in this giveaway, you got to go on over to riptrippers.com, riptrippers.com. Once you get to riptrippers.com, you're going to click on giveaways, okay? And then you'll see this at the top. It'll be a post that says goon RDA giveaway. Click on the title of that, and you'll see the rules. Follow those rules. Comment down below. That's how you participate. You don't participate here. If you participate here, you will be disqualified. Only participate over at riptrippers.com one week from now, right here here on this channel, I will announce the winner. Again, one random winner. Good luck, everybody.